first one, uh, we're just gonna focus on the hand to record movement. And uh, it's the most simplest uh, scratch to learn is baby scratching. You can also use this scratch to cue up your records and your headphones. And it's just uh, a simple forward and back movement. First thing you wanna do is you wanna locate the, the very beginning of your sound. We're gonna use ah. Keep in mind the, the sharpest part of the sound is the very beginning. So if you notice, I'm at the very beginning of the sound, it's sharp. In the middle of the sound, kind of dull. So you want to stay right on top of the sound. You don't want to apply too much pressure on the turntable because you don't want to stop the flow of the platter. You want the turntable, if you are using turntables, you want that motor to still keep on continuing to rotate. Uh, you want to place your hand in this little V pocket here. Okay, if this was a clock, it'll be between uh, 8 and uh, 10 or 11. Uh, you don't want your hand to go underneath that V pocket or above. If you are above, you're in the danger zone, you're going to end up hitting the needle out of the groove. And if you're underneath that V pocket, it's an awkward uh, hand position. So you want to keep your hand somewhere, you know, try to find that sweet spot within that V pocket, right? Place your hand on the record. And uh, when you're ready to start, you just grab, get your sound ready. We're using ah, we're gonna go forward and back. That completes a baby, forward and back. So this is, uh, I'm gonna do four babies in a row. Now I'm gonna do four babies in a row and I'm going to release. Now the next scratch is called chirping. So there's two ways to break down chirping. First way is the easiest way. I'm going to start with the fader in the middle, okay? So what I'm going to do is place my hand on the record within that V pocket at like nine o'clock or so. And we're gonna, I'm gonna move the record forward. When I move the record forward, I'm going to close the fader, cut that forward sound in half. I'm gonna open the fader and you're gonna hear full back sound or full back pull. So you cut the forward sound in half when you open the fader, you pull the record back. So pretty much what completes a chirp is forward motion getting cut, back motion hearing in full. Okay, what you wanna keep in mind is your hands are moving together, you're not isolating them. You're moving them together and you're moving them away from each other, right? So when you move the record forward, you're closing the fader. When you pull the record back, you're opening the fader. One more time. So I'm gonna do four chirps and I'm going to release. Okay, so that's how to chirp. Next scratch is called forward scratching. You only wanna hear the forward sound. Uh, you don't wanna hear any back pull. Your hand on the fader has to be faster than your hand on the record, okay? Uh, the reason, uh, reason you want your hand on the fader to be faster is you want that hand to beat the hand on the record so you don't hear any pullback, okay? The fader is closed. I'm gonna open the fader and release the record at the same time to hear the forward sound. If you notice, I close the fader right away so you don't hear any back pull. If I didn't do that, this is what it would sound like. Sounds a little ugly, you wanna clean that up, right? A little sloppy, so you wanna just only hear the forward sound, don't wanna hear any back pull. So, again. Okay, so I'm gonna do four forward scratches and I'm gonna release.